Hello, art students. I'm Mrs. Morris, and today we will create illusion art. This is the project we'll be doing. And for this project, you will need a white sheet of paper, very simple, a pencil, a black magic marker. I prefer one with a, a pointy tip or, or a fine tip and also a red magic marker. That's it. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is trace our hand. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over to make it a little easier for me. And you're gonna place your hand like so. With this is kind of a little opened, okay? You're gonna hold your pencil at a 90 degree angle against your paper, meaning like this. It should be straight up and down. Not like this. You're not gonna trace inwards like this. What happens is, and I've seen students do that, is when you trace inwards and you go inside where your hand is actually touching the paper and pressing in, and you lift off, you have a really thin, skinny hand with skinny little fingers and it doesn't look like the actual shape of your natural hand. So what you're going to do is you're gonna hold your hand like so, you're gonna hold your pencil at a 90 degree angle, meaning straight up and down like this. I know you can't see because my hands are in the way, but like this, and you're gonna trace like so. so Follow me. And I want you to trace ex as very lightly as you possibly can, okay? So tracing very lightly, keep going around and holding it at a 90 degree angle. That means it's straight up. And just following your, the guide of your hand, the pencil should be rubbing against your finger, but not going inwards like underneath like this. Don't trace that way. It should be like that, okay? So I traced lightly, but for you guys at home, I know this is probably harder for you to see. And so to create a guideline for you, I'm going to go over my drawing very dark, but I do not want you to do that at home, okay? Yours at home should be so light, you can almost barely, you can just see it, okay? And it should be very, very easy for you to erase because of that. So I'm going to go over mine nice and dark just for you guys at home. And the reason why you're keeping your hand, the, the drawing, the hand very light is so that you don't compromise the illusion of the hand underneath the lines or peering through the line, okay? It just gives you the illusion of that and then you actually see the hand. So in this corner here, I'm going to draw a heart, not so big, and I'm just gonna freehand that. Does not have to be perfect. And again, a reminder, please draw very lightly, okay? Just enough for you to see it. Now, this is really easy. I'm going to hold my, my paper so that it's easier for me to gauge this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top drawing straight lines. And I want these lines to be thin. In certain parts of this drawing, the lines will become thicker. The lines do not have to be perfect at all, okay? And I'm just going to go across until I stop at the heart. Now for every line that you come to, doesn't matter where it's at, you're gonna bump, jump it, and then draw your line. You see that? There were two curved lines here, one here, 
and one there. Again, stop. Now this one, because there is no indentation here, that one was made, I'm just going to jump over and then continue my straight line. And again, does not have to be perfect. Now I see there's a thicker line in here, but once we're done, we're gonna go in and then we're gonna go in between our lines and make it really neat, okay? So don't worry about that. Let's just get our place, placement in. Stop, straight, got it? Stop, bump, straight. Just like that. Here we go. And we're gonna do the same thing for the hand. Now, the more lines you see I put in, you start to see that heart kind of coming through. Again, your lines do not and should not be perfectly straight. If you're trying to do that, you're gonna kind of run into some problems. And because this is supposed to be freehand, it's not supposed to look like as perfect as you think it should, okay? So now we have the illusion that our heart is underneath um, our paper here. So now we're gonna keep going. So because there's no object here, I'm just gonna keep going straight. But as soon as I come to a finger, I go around it, just like that. And I'm gonna continue. As soon as I come to any line, I'm gonna stop, jump, Cross again, straight, jump, go straight across. Again, stop, jump, straight across, jump, straight. Straight, stop, jump, straight, jump, straight across. Jump, straight, jump, straight, jump, straight across. Getting the idea now? And make sure you curve that line going over the fingers each finger, each time. You stop, jump, stop, jump, stop, jump. Here we go. Over the finger. And that illusion starts to reveal itself slowly as you keep going. Nice, keep going. Now, 
I don't have any fingers to jump over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over the one here because I still have an indentation there. This one, I'm just going to do a full jump. Got it? Straight across, stop, jump at the thumb, straight across. Come across, jump, straight, and now I'm going to make a full jump because this, this line ends here, and starts here and ends there. Got it? Straight and jump, straight. We're starting to get it. Follow the line, jump, and straight. Oh, see that? Full jump. Now we don't have the thumb involved. Full jump, go straight across. Now, just like we did here, making the lines close and closer and closer. We're gonna do the same thing here, but right now we're just trying to space out what we're doing so that we've pretty much planted our lines in place. Now it just gets easy from here. You get the picture. You stop, jump, go straight, stop, Jump over the illusion hand, go straight. Okay. And the way to help you is to just keep that nice guideline going. You try to try and space that easily for you. So meaning like right here, I'm gonna draw this line, stop. Trying to keep that thickness the same, just like that, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the heart here. We're gonna make these lines a little closer. So I'm just gonna go in between some of the uh, lines that I've made and just kind of make them a little thinner. Go in, same thing that you've been doing. And then if this, if there's something that you see that you wanna fix, go right on ahead. But you must follow the rule that we've already been using to keep that illusion so you don't lose that illusion. See that? It's pretty cool. I find it to be a little therapeutic as well. Well, art is therapeutic to me, period. But Okay, and we're going to keep going. I'm just going to keep looking for areas. Like right here. It's a pretty thick line. So when I just come in, 
can fix that. And I don't have to do this between every single line. Only the ones you feel you need it, okay? So there's a line, you can skip it. You don't have to do that. Because as I get closer to the wrist and further down the wrist, I might leave some of these lines a little thicker than the ones that are at the top. And there you have it. Oh, really nice. Let me just do this one here. Yep, I think I like it. And so there you have it. At home, you really won't see your um your line that you drew with your pencil, and that's exactly what you want. Um, but anything else, you definitely want to fix if you have to. I still feel like I have some more lines here that I can make nice and thin. I don't want to go too far overboard, but I just want it to look really deep. Yeah. Okay, so then you're going to take your red and you're just going to kind of color in the heart. Very simple. And there you have it, your illusion art. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye.